Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Ramon, how are you today? So if you haven't watched my previous This Is Why It's Hot video, I talked about the Perito Centella Green Level Safe Sun and how in my opinion that is potentially one of the, if not the most recommended, acclaimed, celebrated sunscreen in the skincare content creating slash consumer community. But if I were to pick any sunscreen that would rival the popularity of the Perito, it would have to be this one. This is the Cray Beauty Beat the Sun slash The Beat Shield SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. It's elegant. It's effective, it's affordable. It's honestly, it is a sunscreen superstar. And we're gonna talk about it today. But before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, fancy related content on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and down below. Have you tried this? Do you love it as much as everyone else does? It's, it deserves all the accolades. I'm not gonna lie. Let me know down below. So highlighting the sunscreen a little bit, this is from Crave Beauty, a skincare brand started by fellow content creator and skincare YouTuber, Leah Yu. And while my review is gonna highlight my thoughts and opinions of the sunscreen, the formulation, and all that about it, I honestly feel like you should go watch Leah's content about it. I will never be able to meet the elegance and eloquence of her speaking about her own product. So make sure you also go check out her content. I'll link it down below. Looking at some of the claims for the sunscreen, it's advertised as being lightweight and soothing with anti-pollution and anti-irritation qualities to keep your skin protected and prevent damage from UV, irritation, and free radical damage. Before I get into the details about the sunscreen, I'm going to first talk about where I got this from. And obviously Cray Beauty has their own site where you can get the full extent of their products, but I actually purchased this from a website called Any Skincare, a website owned by a friend of mine, Shantoria, AKA Shayna, which I'll link below as you'll see on the screen as well. But Any Skincare is a black female owned Korean beauty website featuring a lot of really great Korean skincare brands from really, really well-known ones like Crave and Dr. Jart to a lot more small and newer skincare brands as well at really great prices. And what's even better is if you buy a certain amount of product, you get free shipping, which honestly is really worth it. But I wanna take the time to plug Any Skincare here on my channel only because it is a black female owned brand. And I think it's really important to celebrate and elevate black female entrepreneurs and content creators in this space, the beauty space, especially the Korean beauty space. So next time you think about ordering any Korean beauty products, make sure you head over to any skincare only because I also have a discount code with them. It's gonna give you 10% off if you use code GLOW by Ramon. Again, it's not sponsored. I bought this in my own money from Shayna's website, but I really wanna encourage you to spend your coin where it matters and go support some black female entrepreneurs and creators in the beauty space. And links and everything are gonna be down in the description box below, so be sure to check those out. Also, she throws little goodies and samples and like surprises with every order that she receives as a little thank you. And I've gotten everything from sunscreen samples, sheet masks, to hand cream, so there's another plus for you. So the way I'm gonna break this down for you is similar to how I do my chemical sunscreens, which is not how I do my mineral sunscreens. If you watch my mineral sunscreen videos, there's a whole different rubric for these, but I'm really gonna highlight what makes a sunscreen pop, what makes it so special. That's gonna be my six Fs. It's gonna be feel, finish, filters, formulation, foundation wear, and fragrance. I'm gonna be breaking those down, explaining to you why the Craig Beauty Beach Shield slash Beat the Sun is so hot. In the footage on the video, you're gonna see me apply the sunscreen, how it's gonna look on my skin, you're gonna see how makeup looks on top of it, but also, because it's a chemical sunscreen, I reapply on top of it because not only do chemical sunscreens leave you with no white cast and reapply on themselves beautifully, but they also reapply beautifully over makeup. As with all my sunscreen reviews, I apply a quarter teaspoon to cover my face, my ears, and my neck, and let that sit down for at least five minutes to really set and form the barrier that needs to form. So, let's break down the sunscreen. The feel of it. As Crave mentions, this is a super lightweight gel-like sunscreen. You can see here in the back of my hand, and as I work it in, you can see automatically it goes into that gel texture and it's super, super lightweight and really, really cushiony. Going onto the finish of it, you can see right now it has a really, really radiant finish and it looks beautiful on the skin. But what I will say is if you give it time to set down, at least five to seven minutes, it really sets down into a nice radiant finish that's not as emollient and shiny as this is. If I could compare it to anything, especially Perito, it's a little bit more lightweight for sure, but it still has a nice moisturizing punch to it. I have more oily skin and what I can say is that it does leave your skin really, really radiant, which I know a lot of my oily skin individual content creators don't necessarily love as much as I do, but let this set down, blot it, you're gonna be good. But if you have dry skin, it's also nicely nourishing enough that it's gonna give you the moisturization that you need. If you have dry, dry skin, pair it with a moisturizer. If you have oily skin, no moisturizer, just this over some hydrators, you'll be good. Highlighting the way it looks on the skin, you can see on the footage with the application on the face, it leaves me with a very healthy glow. It's a little bit emollient, but it's not too much so. It's really nicely moisturizing, it leaves my skin looking really, really healthy and radiant. But if you don't like so much of that radiance, just blot it down. I especially do that here in my T-zone and you'll be good. Now let's talk about the filters and that's one of the places where this shines. As you can see, this has SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 designating it has really nice, high photoprotective qualities to it. And that's a result of the Korean sunscreen filters that it uses. Again, they're completely organic organic, aka chemicals, so they're gonna give you no white cast. But because they are Korean, they're able to use a little bit more innovative, more advanced, very photostable filters that we don't have approved in the US. And to elaborate on that point, 
This uses filters that are approved elsewhere in the world, but not approved in the US or not FDA approved. And as a result of that, Leah has had some hurdles to jump to get this available in the US. And that's why you have Beat the Sun, which is a very transparently advertised sunscreen available elsewhere in the world and the Beat Shield, the Antioxidant Day Serum, which is what you're able to get in the US. They are the same exact formulation. Leah just had to change the name and change the way it's marketed to not make it a sunscreen to be able to sell it in the US. That's all that is. Breaking it down, you got Tinosorb S, and Tinosorb S is gonna give you a very photostable, very high rating, very broad spectrum protection. You have that reinforced by Uvenol A+, and Uvenol T150. Uvenol A+, gives you very photoprotective, very photostable, high UVA coverage. Uvenol T150, same thing, but UVB. And on top of that, you got two filters that I actually don't talk about very often on my channel. First one being Amaloxate, AKA Neoheliopan E1000, and that's, again, very photostable, mostly UVB with a little bit of UVA protection to it, but you also have polysilicone 15, which is another UVB filter as well. All those combined together will give you that really, really high SPF and PA rating from the sunscreen, but also gonna give you really, really lightweight, elegant texture. These filters are also meant to be really gentle and non-irritating to the skin as well. So even if you have more sensitive skin, these are gonna be really great to offer you really high protection without irritating your skin at all. Beyond just the amazing filters in this, there's a lot of really other great formulation highlights to really talk about. Looking at the front of this, it talks about them right here. You got beetroot, allantoin, vitamin C, resveratrol, and EGCG. Going down the list, let's start with the namesake of this, beetroot extract, which is really unique to this in my opinion. And it was something that Leah Yu really talked about when she was talking about developing the sunscreen and what she wanted it to have. And it's just honestly a really unique ingredient, but that's a lot of what the antioxidant claims for the sunscreen is coming from. Beetroot extract is a really great antioxidant source, but also has really nice moisturizing properties, which really help to contribute to increasing natural moisturizing factors in the skin. You also have allantoin, which is one of my all-time favorite skincare ingredients that is just soothing, skin protecting, anti-inflammatory. Next is vitamin C, and it's actually a vitamin C derivative. It's sodium ascorbyl phosphates, and Comparing sodium scorbophosphate to pure ascorbic acid, which is the purest form of vitamin C, it's a promising derivative, which has really nice antioxidant and some skin brightening properties to it. It's not as top notch as ascorbic acid, but it's a really nice derivative of vitamin C and really nice to have in this formulation. Next is resveratrol, and that's another powerhouse antioxidant, very well researched, very well studied. That comes from red grapes. So with that ingredient, you're getting antioxidant as well as even more skin soothing ingredients. And then you also have EGCG, which is epigallocatechin gallate, which is a polyphenol from green tea, which is what most of green tea's benefits actually come from. And with that antioxidant, skin soothing, and a lot of other really great benefits for the skin. So looking at the formulation, what Cray Beauty is really highlighting on this is antioxidants and anti-inflammatory ingredients. Antioxidants offer you really, really great free radical protection, as well as protecting your skin from environmental environmental stressors and pollution, which is what they advertise. And those anti-inflammatory ingredients are just really nice to have in sunscreens because it prevents your skin from getting sun and UV stress, which for most people just involves redness in the skin. But if you have skin of color, that irritation then becomes inflammation, which becomes pigmentation, which we're trying to prevent here. So overall, what you're getting is nice skin protecting and brightening ingredients in this that are gonna keep your skin soothed and calm. The one caveat to all that, which I know for some people leaves them really pressed, is that this does have alcohol in it, but alcohol's not bad. I have a whole video on this, which is old and I'm redoing again very, very soon. If you want to go watch it, but it basically highlights how alcohol has a very specific purpose in skincare formulations. In this sunscreen, it acts as a UV solvent. It dissolves the UV filters, but on top of that, it acts as a penetration enhancer. It allows a lot of these antioxidants and skin nourishing benefits to penetrate into your skin more effectively. It also makes this formula really, really lightweight and allows it to set a lot quicker just because alcohol is a very volatile ingredient. So once it's on the skin, the alcohol evaporates out very, very quickly, leaving you that very, very nice quick setting quality that we love in sunscreens. Alcohol's not bad. It's 2020. Get into it. Yeah, get into it. <laughs> Next on the list is foundation wear. And I'm gonna be honest, it's been a minute since I've used this sunscreen and I forgot how nicely this prepped the skin for makeup. I put this on, it set down and I was like, oh, it looks good. And then I put makeup on top of it and I was like, yo, I don't know what it did. It held on to pigment really, really nicely that I could buff a really, really small amount of foundation across my face beautifully. There was no moving, no pilling, nothing. But it somehow like increased or like, raise the pigmentation value of the foundation where I use like half a pump of foundation, not even. I use half of a half a pump and the sunscreen just grabbed onto it beautifully. It wore so nicely throughout the day. The finish of it was so nice. It was a little bit radiant, but I used matte foundations. The foundation itself set nicely on top of the sunscreen. Everything else wore nicely on top of it. And throughout the day, my skin just looked really, really healthy, but not too greasy. So this is a beautiful sunscreen for makeup prep. It leaves your skin nicely moisturized. So makeup just looks beautiful on top of it. But more so because this is a chemical sunscreen, as you can see on the video, I do reapply this on top of my makeup 
makeup just because with chemical sunscreens, I love to use them for reapplication. And this looks amazing over makeup. The way the sunscreen's texture is being really, really nourishing and radiant, it goes on top of the makeup beautifully. It does not alter the coverage. It does not move the makeup around, but at least your skin is really, really nice and radiant and refreshed. So makeup wear overall, 10 out of 10. And then fragrance. I will be honest and say this has some sort of smell to it, but I really don't know what it is. I don't like beets, so I don't know this is what beets smell like. So there's that, but also, Initially, there is a little bit of an alcohol smell to it. I'm gonna tell you that. But again, alcohol being a very volatile ingredient, that means it evaporates very quickly. That smell doesn't linger for very long. And whatever smell there is, it's just, it's light. It's very, very faint and it dissipates quickly, but it's really fresh too. But that smell is not a result of any fragrance added to the formulation. There's no fragrance, no essential oils to this. So it is a very, very nice, sensitive skin friendly sunscreen for the most part. So obviously this is a banger. This is definitely Ramon recommended. I've mentioned this in a few videos in my video repertoire before, but we're really talking about why this is hot and why everyone loves it so much. But it really comes down to the formulation, the wear of this, the elegance of this, as well as the price point for this. It averages about 20 to $25, depending on where you buy it and what time you buy it. And you get 50 mil, which is very appropriate for most sunscreens. I will say that. But this is a really great sunscreen. I would expect no less from Leah Yu, honestly, skincare goddess that she is. She put a lot of work and thought into developing this. And again, she's very transparent about the process. Go check out her content, but she came out with a banger. My only qualm with this is I really wish that this came in like a one gallon bottle. It's just so nice to wear. This wears beautifully on the face, on the body. I wanna put on so much of this. And it's only $20. The packaging for this looks really small. It's the standard sunscreen size. So I really can't tack her for that, but I just wish this was a lot more. I wish you got more product out of this. My only other Qualm, which I'm gonna add for this is also sometimes it's not the easiest to get on Crave's website, but again, check out any skincare. It's always in stock. It gets to you quick, great price points. And you need to be supporting black content creators and black entrepreneurs in the beauty space. Remember that. And all that being said, that is why the Beat Shield slash Beat the Sun is now inducted into the This Is Why It's Hot Hall of Fame. Tell me down below, do you love this as much as everyone else does? Is this as hyped and as esteemed in your own skincare collection? Because it's definitely in mine. This has definitely been in my skincare rotation before and it will forever be my skincare rotation. And I wanna know if you feel the same way about it. Let me know down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye.